We're on again. Oh, dude, that's a fluke. That's a fluke. That's a good fish. That feels pretty good, man. Oh, we're on again. That's awesome. That feels like a better fish for sure. July 13th, I think, 2020. It's been a while since I've actually fished and made a video. But um, yeah, today we're on our way, as you guys can see, on the bike today. Headed to the beach, got my rod, tripod, some gold in my backpack, and that's pretty much it. And uh, the goal for today is just gonna try to catch some flounder off the beach. Um, I'm sure they're out there, they're there every year, but there's a pretty noticeable, noticeable sandbar on most of these beaches now after that tropical storm that smoothed through a few days ago, so. The plans for today is just fish that trough. Um, I think it's gonna it's the outgoing tide, so hopefully get to fish the edge of that sandbar. Should be there around low tide. And we'll see what happens. So on the way to the beach, it's like probably 540 now, I think. Just gonna head to the beach, fish, grab some wawa sandwiches, and I gotta work at eight. So that's gonna be the thing plan for today. We'll see what happens, guys. Hopefully catch some fish, see you guys on the beach. Should be a fun little morning session, maybe fish for two hours and We'll see what happens. We'll see you guys out there. Should be fun. Let's see what we catch. All right, well guys, just got to the beach. You guys can see behind me, right there's the ocean. Um, got a pretty prominent sandbar, like I said. It's not that far out though on this street that I chose. So hopefully the fluke are stacked up. Looks like it's low tide right now. You can see the hard sand right next to my feet. Uh, but yeah, I'll make some casts. Probably not gonna walk too far. Maybe walk a few streets because I do only have like an hour and a half to fish. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, guys. Hope we catch some fish. See you on the GoPro. We'll see what we catch. Should be a good morning, hopefully. Probably a little overkill right here, especially for this light rod. But I need to cast out to that edge of the sandbar. I mean, the fish are in close, I know that too. But I just like to cast out farther. But we'll see what happens here. Hopefully catch some fish. If not, you won't be seeing this video. that one dude dang it that was definitely just a fish right there wow not even like i think it was my second cast not bad at all felt pretty good too actually not gonna lie dang it dang it hit the high hit the pink up top took my uh oh it didn't take my tail off just nailed it ripped it off the hook almost wow I kind of laid on it though. I feel like a nice fish. Cast back out there and see if we can catch them. There we go guys, second bite. Just bit off the tail right there. That's why fishing for these guys is kind of annoying. Just because the amount of gulps you go through, especially off the beach, tend to short strike it a lot. But that was a fish, just had him in close. It's our like third bite we've missed, I think, but I just want to show that one because I actually felt the head shake. That guy hit in super close. Probably just a little short fish, but nice to know there's fish out here. It's just tough to go through all these gulps, kind of discouraging. I'll put on another little swimming mullet, see what that does for me. And then um, probably just gonna switch back up to a shrimp if not. There we go, put this guy up there. It's another 
top color is the pink shine. Anything like white seems to be better off the beach. That's why I've learned. I mean, I fish, I fish like this, not not a lot, but I've done it quite often. Normally, just don't make videos out because they're not that good of trips. So we'll see what happens today. I mean, I'm really just hoping for that first keeper off the beach. Um, a few shorts would be nice too. Obviously, just to have some fun, but really want that keeper off the beach. That'd be nice. Just toss in the cooler. Call it a day. So we get one keeper, that'll be it. But right now we'll just keep fan cast and see what we can catch. Hopefully get a keeper. If not, I'll be happy with some shorts. But yeah, just kind of getting out here, enjoying the weather. Just relaxing being out here. Even though the fishing might not be the best, just getting out here around sunrise, warm water, 88 degree air temps. I mean, you just can't beat it. So we're gonna keep fishing guys. Hopefully bring a fish onto shore, that's the goal. Just catch something, man. And we're gonna keep casting, see what we can get, and I'll see you guys then. freaking fluke in the world man I mean he's barely fighting but at least it's a fish what the frick oh it's a kingfish that's a big kingfish too <laughs> that's funny not our target for today <laughs> big kingfish though not bad at all sweet I wonder why I didn't feel like a big fluke there he is though, cool little kingfish. Sure those guys have been chomping. Well, he ate the gulp, sweet, all right. Cool little kingfish, see bud. Not the target for today, we'll keep casting. Good to know there's some fish out there. Finally, nice to bend the rod. Keep casting, there's a storm right back there. Hopefully it won't interfere with my fishing activity. And then we'll see what happens, but. I got that guy, I tried some a little, I was reeling it a lot slower last time. I was almost just vertically just jigging it. Like barely, barely twitching it. So maybe that'll, that'll work. Reeling in a lot slower than I have been and fishing a lot more like straight up and down jigging. So we'll see what happens. I'm casting out on the edge of the sandbar right now. Um, if I get a kayak in here, if I can squeeze a kayak in here. Oh, I just have one. Oh yeah, we're on, we're on, we're on again. Oh dude, that's a fluke. That's a fluke, that's a good fish. That feels pretty good, man. Oh, we're on again, that's awesome. That feels like a better fish for sure. Keep that line tight, but yeah, casting down the edge of the sandbar, doing that little stationary jigging thing. Back to back cast, man, awesome. This is definitely a flounder right here, I can feel that for sure. Let's just hope we get him in. Oh, good run, buddy. I mean, I, hope, I think this is a flounder, I don't know. Feel, yeah, no, it definitely gotta be a flounder, man. So keep that line tight or else they shake the hook a lot of times. Here he is though, right? Oh yeah, dude, that's a freaking keeper too. Oh, that is such a keeper. Awesome fish, man. Awesome freaking fish. Let's get a little measure on that guy. Buddy slammed it. And that could be the end of the day, dude. Hopefully he's a keeper. Ah, nah, he's definitely not a keeper. He looked a lot bigger when I got him. All right, but we'll still measure him just for, just for funsies. He is, oh dude, he's a keeper for sure, actually. Yeah, that's like a 19 incher there. Dude, keeper flounder, 19 on the dock, guys, look at that. Sweet. Nah, he's 19. Yeah. 
19 inch surfside flatty right there guys, awesome fish. Um, yeah, he measured out 19, did not think he was a keeper, but the more I look at him, I mean, that's a pretty healthy fish to beat. So I'll make a few more casts with this guy. Well, not with this guy, a few more casts with that gold. I'm um, right around the same spot, and then I'm gonna call it. I don't want this guy to get too much sun or whatever. I got like 10% left on the GoPro battery, so not gonna switch out the battery. Just gonna bring this guy over to the cooler, and there we go, sweet. Awesome little fish. All right, let's cast back out, see what else we can get. All right, well guys, we're gonna cast back out. Um, I don't think I'm gonna catch anything else. That's, that's enough for me, dude. I mean, that's enough for a freaking video right there. We got two fish, freaking nice keeper flounder off the beach. I think it's my first ever keeper, yeah. That's my first ever keeper fluke off the beach, guys. I totally just realized that I've caught a lot of shorts. Um, a lot more in the kayak off the beach. I think I've missed a few keepers in the kayak off the beach. You guys actually never saw a video. It was like a year, year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, that footage got corrupted, but there we go, guys. I mean, I have a little just new technique of just jigging it just like this and reeling in a lot slower. Right on the edge of that sandbar, I knew I was gonna get thumped, and there we go. So, that guy put up a nice fight. I knew it wasn't a kingfish as soon as he started actually like stopped me in my tracks. Like, I couldn't make any progress on him, so not bad at all. First ever keeper fluke off the beach took me about 45 minutes. Not bad at all, so make a few more casts till the GoPro dies, got 5% left on it. Then we're gonna uh, head up to the bait shop, get a little weigh in on them, take a picture or two after we go grab some Wawa Sizzlies. So that's the plan for today, guys. No complaints. <laughs> guys gopro's dead now like i said i mean I, I wasn't really expecting to catch any more fish i'm pretty satisfied with today like i always i always practice selective harvest or at least i try to um and really only fish i kind of keep are kingfish perch and flounder when i when i need them i mean I, i've kept tog i've really i mean i've kept and released a lot of keeper fish so normally praise catch and release guys but here we go i mean it's a nice 19 inch flounder right there Got some family down from North Jersey, so we're gonna eat up good tonight. They're actually heading out on the boat, but obviously I gotta work, so. I got my fair share of dinner right here. Nice 19 incher, man. I was I was very surprised when I, when I measured that guy and he came up to 19. I mean, I just, that was the first fluke I got all day. I mean, I had a few other shorts kind of short, shorts at me, and I got that kingfish. Probably should've kept the kingfish too for dinner, but there you go, guys. I knew as soon as I hooked that, that was not, not a kingfish, um, just because he he was actually making runs. I actually couldn't crank on him a few times, so that was fun, guys. So yeah, first ever keeper fluke off the beach. Just bled him. Buddy's gonna go on some ice right now when I head to work. So run a while, grab some sizzlies, toss this guy on ice, cook him up later today. Nothing will go to waste, of course. But uh, yeah, guys. So just get out there, fish. Never get to catch. I mean, I was out there 40 minutes just grumbling that I wasn't catching anything. Um, kind of came out here on a whim i was like you know what i got a few hours for work tomorrow Let's wake up 4 30 get out there um I caught some fish so like i said i caught that on the uh the chicken rig with a little three ounce weight way too heavy for out here i um, probably should have done two ounces just need the casting distance because that guy like I, I i thought was sitting right on the edge of that sandbar out there but uh i don't know what else to say so thanks for watching again hope you guys enjoyed for the third time and i'll see you guys in the next one peace